All eyes are on SpaceX as they prepare for their most critical mission yet. Starship Integrated Flight Test 4, or IFT-4. Elon Musk has just confirmed that this make-or-break test flight is imminent, and a NASA official has revealed that it is on track for May. The stakes couldn't be higher. But the road to IFT-4 is fraught with challenges that could derail SpaceX's ambitious plans for Starship. First and foremost, there's the heat shield. Starship must withstand the scorching temperatures of atmospheric re-entry, and SpaceX's unique hexagonal tile system is still unproven. Will it hold up under the intense pressure and heat, or will it fail and send Starship tumbling back to Earth in pieces? Then, there are the Raptor engines, the methane-fueled powerhouses that will propel Starship to new heights. These engines are some of the most advanced ever built, but they've also been plagued by technical issues and setbacks. Will they perform as expected during IFT-4, or will they falter and leave Starship stranded in orbit? And let's not forget the sheer scale of the Starship vehicle and the infrastructure required to support it. The heavy booster alone is a behemoth, towering over the launch pad at a staggering 469 feet tall. Will SpaceX's brand new launch tower and catch arms be up to the task of safely guiding this monster back to Earth? Or will they crumble under the weight of Starship's ambition? What's up, spacers? This is your specialist, the Space Technician. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into each of these challenges and explore the solutions SpaceX has proposed to overcome them. We'll also examine the potential consequences of failure and what it could mean for the future of space exploration. Remember, strapping in is optional, but recommended. First off, let's talk about the heat shield. SpaceX's innovative hexagonal heat shield tiles, made of ceramic matrix composite CMC material, are critical for protecting Starship during atmospheric re-entry. CMCs combine the heat resistance of ceramics with the durability of metals, allowing the tiles to withstand temperatures exceeding 1,400 degrees Celsius or 2,552 degrees Fahrenheit. Each hexagonal tile measures approximately 15 inches or 38 centimeters across and is attached to Starship's stainless steel skin using a combination of high-temperature adhesive and mechanical fasteners. However, during previous Starship tests, like the high-altitude flight of Starship SN11 in March 2021, some tiles have fallen off, raising concerns about the system's reliability. SpaceX has been working to improve the attachment mechanism and has conducted extensive ground testing to validate the tile's performance. The ultimate test will be during IFT-4's re-entry, where the heat shield will face immense thermal and mechanical stresses. A failed heat shield could lead to the spacecraft breaking apart, potentially resulting in the loss of the vehicle and its payload. To mitigate these risks, SpaceX has implemented a range of sensors and diagnostic tools to monitor the health of the heat shield during re-entry. These include embedded thermal couples, strain gauges, and pressure sensors that will provide real-time data on the shield's performance. SpaceX has also developed Advanced Computational Fluid Dynamics, or CFD, models to predict the heat loads and pressure distributions across the shield, allowing them to optimize the design and placement of the tiles. Despite these precautions, the heat shield remains one of the most significant technical challenges facing Starship. The success of IFT-4 and future missions will depend heavily on the shield's ability to withstand the extreme conditions of re-entry and keep Starship intact as it navigates back to Earth. Next up, we have the Raptor engines. SpaceX's Raptor engines are the powerhouse behind the Starship system designed to deliver unprecedented levels of thrust and efficiency. Using liquid methane and oxygen as propellants, each Raptor engine targets over 230 metric tons, 510,000 pounds, of thrust at sea level, nearly double that of the Merlin engines used in the Falcon 9 rockets. However, developing these advanced full-flow staged combustion cycle engines 
has presented significant challenges, with SpaceX facing setbacks related to turbo pumps and other components. Despite this, the company has made progress in ramping up production and testing, demonstrating the ability to fire multiple Raptor engines simultaneously. The true test will come during IFT-4, where the engines must operate flawlessly under real-world launch and flight conditions. Success will validate SpaceX's design and pave the way for future missions, while any issues could force re-evaluation and delays. The Starship system's immense scale, with a combined spacecraft and super-heavy booster standing 120 meters or 394 feet tall, presents significant challenges for SpaceX in terms of manufacturing and infrastructure. The company has had to develop new fabrication techniques and expand its production facilities, including a massive high bay at Boca Chica to accommodate the vehicle size. To support Starship's launch, landing, and refurbishment operations, SpaceX is constructing a new launch complex at Boca Chica. The centerpiece is the 143-meter, 469-foot-tall Starship launch tower, called Mechazilla by Musk, equipped with catch arms designed to guide and secure the returning Super Heavy booster, enabling rapid reuse. However, this catch arm system is largely untested, and its failure during IFT-4 could result in significant setbacks. The launch complex also includes an extensive network of ground support equipment and infrastructure, such as massive propellant tanks and a complex system of plumbing, valves, and pumps to handle cryogenic propellants. All of this must be fully operational for IFT-4, targeted for the first half of 2024, and any delays or issues could impact the entire Starship program. Despite these challenges, SpaceX remains confident in Starship's potential. If IFT-4 is successful, it will mark a significant milestone in the development of the fully reusable rocket system. The test flight will see the Super Heavy booster lift the Starship upper stage to an altitude of around 40 kilometers before separating and attempting to land back on Earth. Meanwhile, the Starship will continue on to orbit, perform some maneuvers, and then re-enter the atmosphere aiming to land on a floating platform in the ocean. A successful IFT-4 would pave the way for future tests and missions, including the highly anticipated Dear Moon mission, which plans to send a crew of artists and influencers on a trip around the moon. It could also open up new possibilities for space exploration, such as establishing bases on the moon and Mars, or exploring the outer reaches of the solar system. However, it's essential to keep in mind that space travel is never without risk. While SpaceX has an impressive track record, there's always the possibility of something going wrong. A failure during IFT-4 could set the Starship program back significantly, both in terms of time and resources. So, what can we realistically expect from IFT-4? In the best-case scenario for IFT-4, the Super Heavy Booster will lift off, carrying the Starship spacecraft to an altitude of 250 kilometers, or 155 miles. The booster will then separate and attempt a precise landing, either by being caught by the Mechazilla system's catch arms or by landing on a designated pad using its onboard engines and landing legs. A successful catch would be a significant achievement, demonstrating the feasibility of rapid reusability. However, the catch arm system is complex and largely untested, so a pad landing would still be a positive outcome. The Starship spacecraft will continue to orbit, testing its capabilities and systems. The critical moment will be during re-entry, when the spacecraft's heat shield, composed of hexagonal ceramic tiles, will be subjected to temperatures exceeding 1,600 degrees Celsius or 2,900 degrees Fahrenheit. The aerodynamic control surfaces, such as the forward and aft flaps, must also perform flawlessly to ensure a stable descent and precise landing. In a less favorable scenario, the Starship spacecraft may experience issues during re-entry, such as a failure of the heat shield or loss of control authority. If the heat shield fails to protect the spacecraft adequately, it could lead to structural damage, 
or even the breakup of the vehicle during descent. Similarly, if the aerodynamic control surfaces fail to operate as intended, the spacecraft may be unable to maintain a stable trajectory or guide itself to the designated landing site. This could result in an off-target landing or, in the worst case, a crash. While a successful mission would be a major milestone, it's crucial to recognize the inherent risks and uncertainties associated with test flights. Issues with the heat shield or control surfaces during re-entry could lead to damage or even the loss of the vehicle. However, even in the case of a setback, the data gathered will be invaluable for refining the Starship system's design and improving its overall safety and reliability. In the end, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. As always, thanks for coming back to the channel. We'll be keeping a close eye on the developments leading up to IFT-4 and bringing you all the latest updates and analysis. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. This is the Space Technician signing off for now, and I'll see you Space Cowboys in the next one.